On this episode of You Eat, we're making sautéed flounder franchise style. We're going to spruce up this already tasty dish with some arugula and tomato. Spend some time with your family and watch this recipe. And make sure you watch to the end. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of You Eat. As usual, I'm really excited to have you here and I appreciate all your support. Today I'm going to make a really easy and real quick uh, flounder dish. Today we're going to be making like a flounder franchise, but I'm going to spruce it up with some arugula, uh, some cherry tomatoes, some garlic. It's going to be a, in a white wine, lemon and butter garlic sauce. I'm ready and I'm super excited to make this dish. Are you ready? Here we go. Print all our recipes on yeat.tv. Here are all our ingredients. Eggs, flour, lemon, parsley, cherry tomatoes, arugula, white wine, clam juice, flour, and butter. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am just going to prep up a couple of things. This is going to be really quick, this dish. So um, I have some flour, so I'm just going to add some salt to the flour. Some black pepper. Alright, so we're gonna throw some of this parsley in here. I like to make, you know, I don't like to chop my parsley that fine sometimes. I like to, to, to see it. So that's why I got big chunks of parsley in here. Okay, so we're gonna take one pat of the butter, it's about one ounce, and some extra virgin olive oil. I got my flounder, my flounder here. I got four pieces of flounder. We're going to dip them in flour. And we're going to dip them into the egg wash mixture. The one thing you want to check is in between here, you want to make sure that they cleaned it out very well, that there's no bones coming through here where, these, where, this, where it's kind of down the middle here, where this seam is over here as well. You'll feel if there's any bone, and there's no bone. By adding the butter and mixing it with the extra virgin olive oil, it gives it a nice brownish color when you uh, saute the fish. The trickiest part is making sure that you get enough egg on here. And always put it in away from your body. And then the egg, because the fish breaks together, it's a, it's a very delicate white fish and it'll break down on you if you don't handle it right, it'll fall apart. Okay, we're gonna lightly brown the flounder on both sides, about two minutes on each side, and then we're gonna remove it from the pan. I recommend you using a spatula, because the tongs, you can break the fish, will break easily. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I take it out with the, with the fat sauce. The reason why I removed the flounder is because there's way too much oil and butter in here. So I'll remove the flounder, I'll drain it, and then I'll put the flounder back in the pan. You can see it cook, cook very quickly. So there's some trimmings in there, we're gonna just I'm going to deglaze that with a little bit of white wine. But before I do that, I'm going to saute off some garlic. So after we lightly brown the garlic, we're going to add uh, some white wine and we're going to deglaze the pan and then I'll add the fish back in. And now we'll add some clam juice, some lemon juice, some butter, some white wine here. Two ounces of butter, one cup of clam juice, one lemon quarter. 
We will be starting our monthly contest as soon as we hit 1,000 YouTube subscribers. All you need to do to qualify is to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like at least one of our videos. And as our YouTube channel grows, so will our prizes. Don't forget to click the bell and spread the word. We're adding some cornstarch to some water. I'm going to use this as a thickening agent. Alright, so we can put our fish back in. Again, you got to be very gentle with it. Gonna add a little bit of this thickening agent. You can use flour and water, but the flour you have to cook all the flour taste out. This will thicken up without having to cook any taste out. Let's throw some tomatoes in here. After placing the flounder into the sauce, you only need to cook it for about three minutes. Lemon and tomato go together very well. stuff. All right, I don't want to cook the tomatoes too much. I'm going to add some more fresh parsley here. We're going to top it with arugula. All right, we're done. We're ready to go. We're going to put this on a plate. See how quick that was? Oh, that looks so good. Using your spatula, be extra careful and gentle while removing the flounder from the saute pan. Okay, so we have our sauce here. We're just going to throw the sauce on top. Some of these tomatoes. Now I'm just going to chop up a little arugula and just sprinkle that on top. I want to overdo it with the arugula. Sautéed flounder franchise style with arugula and tomatoes. You eat, you want to eat, make this recipe. It's delicious. All right, so hey Leo, how you doing? Pretty good. How was that? That was pretty easy, right? Oh yeah, you think five you can, minutes, ten you, minutes. You can make that, right? Oh, totally, totally. Yeah, we'll try with chicken first before you engage on the flounder. Or uh, maybe something that's a little bit thicker, but I know Leo and his dad and actually his sister from a theater group that we do here in Bergen County. Leo is quite the thespian and uh, he's also interested in cooking. So uh, thanks for helping out, Leo, and uh, we're going to enjoy some of this in a second. So it's time for the taste test. Leo and I are going to give a taste. We'll let Leo do a shot first, but all we can do at the same time. Oh yeah. It's good stuff, right? Oh yeah. It's a little franchise with a ruler and a tomato. If you like it more lemony, you can add more lemon to it, but this ain't gonna last really long around me. <laughs> Boom. This tomato's doing it. so good. Well, that wraps up this week's episode and recipe of the uh, flounder franchise with arugula, tomato, garlic, white wine, butter, lemon sauce. Uh, thanks, Leo, for helping out and giving a taste test. Uh, glad that you enjoyed it. We'll, uh, hopefully, we'll be seeing more Leo and going to learn how to cook uh, with us as you guys learn how to cook my recipes as well. Um, I really appreciate you uh, joining me today. We will be back next week with a new recipe, and you all have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Here's an offer you shouldn't refuse. Subscribe to this channel.